Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in the city of Teville. Thank you very, very much for joining me. We are starting off here in our farming area. If you remember a couple of episodes back, we moved our farming area to the other side of town over here. And I've done a little bit of work on this just to try and increase it a bit. It certainly isn't finished uh, as how it looks at the moment but what we have done uh, lots of you pointed out that that new railway line that I put in over here coming through this mountain through those rocks that I can probably get rid of now and joining up here was unnecessary because this line up here was actually connecting up to our new cargo roundabout there we go cargo train about so what I've done if we just nip down here is we've got this little slow line that meanders up to this little uh, three-way type junction here which I've tried to lower down as much as possible and that is working really nicely and that is keeping our cargo trains away from everything else good so that was one little thing the other was making this a lot bigger so in the previous episode we only had these items along the top and these items down the side I've now added all of these farm fields along here as well I've just alternated farm field greenhouse but they're all doing the same thing every single one of these produces the same item which is crops I had a lot of people getting confused about what these things do they make crops they make crops they all make crops these make crops they make crops it's just a visual difference how they look they all make crops and then these crops can be stored in these barns, which I have all of these set to empty. But as you can see, they still do get used. So the way I use these is when I've got something that's producing crops like this one here, they only have a certain amount of freight trucks that will be used in transporting these crops somewhere. Um, if there's nowhere to put them and this fills up, then what they will do is they will just drop them over here. Like you can see they're doing, they will drop them in there. So that's where they'll put them. So they'll use that as a sort of a buffer. Um, so when it's by the output, so these crops are being outputted, I have that set to empty. When you get to a area like this where you have a food factory or any other factory that needs items, so you want these always on hand, then I will set these as balanced. So what will happen now is they will go around the city, they'll put a call out, they'll send their trucks out to go and get animal products, flour and plastics and paper in this case, which is good. That's what they aim to do. So there's always that on hand for your factory. So that's why I set some of these as balanced and some of these as empty and they're still used. And yeah, to build up our amount, I put another two, four, six, eight, ten of these large crop fields or the equivalent in greenhouses making even more crops. So anything extra will be sent outside the city. We still uh, are importing some of these items. If we look here, it's only a small amount. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. And we're exporting a reasonable amount as well. We can see which buildings uh, is trying to import if we have a look around. Because they will be orange. Aha, there we go. We found one all the way over here on this island. This eco market wants some crops. And it's importing it from outside the city. Because we're just... Well, it might not be that we're just not producing enough. But look how far away that is from our farm or either of our farms it's a long way but sometimes we do get a few down here as well yeah a few down here that also import so it's not that much so we're doing okay uh, exporting we've got lots of exporting going on yes i do have a fishing industry set up I've, I've put down pretty much every item that came with the fishing uh industry update and then there's not much more I can do with that because that is about it now, something I would like to do in Teville is make more money. I've had a lot of people mention how my money is creeping slowly down. Um, I can honestly say hand on heart, I haven't done any of my tax tricks, which I've shown you before, which is where you whack your tax up to the actual maximum that it will go and run the game and get a load of money in and then put it back down again. I haven't had to do that for... I would say a good couple of months, 20 or 30, 40 episodes of TV or something like that. If I do do it, I show it on camera. Um, but my money will go up and down. That is just the way it goes. Since the industry DLC, the way the industry DLC works and makes money, it can fluctuate a lot. 
But there are, I believe, 16 different factories in here that take the raw products of your city and really help you to make a lot of money. And I want to go through and I want to see which ones we have and we are going to build as many of the other ones as possible. So here we have the shipyard, the modular house factory and the iced tea factory. Well, that is the lemonade factory all in this area working away nicely. And over here, just behind them, we have the industrial steel plant and also the sneaker factory. And then finally, all the way over here, back where we first started, near our farming district, we have a food factory. And I'm pretty sure that that is it. Yep, that is it. So we also have an additional furniture, bakery, household plastic, toy, printing press, electronics, clothing, petroleum, soft paper, and car factory that we can build. So what factory are we gonna go for and where are we gonna put them? Well, I'd like to make more use of this little section here as we already have industry here. We have good access to road. We've got rail coming through here. And I would also like to add to the mix. Let's jump over to this one here, this the cargo airport hub as there is going to be a heck of a lot of cargo stuff going on it might be that we sort of put it into this area here where is our other airport just to give us oh it's going to be over here somewhere isn't it out of the way yeah over there so that's fine so we could do that so maybe down here up against where the road is something like that and as for another factory i'd like to at least start with the car factory it's the biggest in footprint even though it isn't the biggest in output that uh, honor goes to the shipyard but i think that would be an interesting one to build um, that needs those items there at the top animal products there we go plastic glass and metals so we need to make sure that the production of those is particularly high and they can get over here to deal with that but maybe let's first start off by putting something in for our airport and i'm just thinking of changing the layout of the road here you can see these are up on a hill to be at the same level as that and there's not quite enough room between this side and this side here there we go much better still got the road going straight into the silos at the side and this can be a little bit more of a natural slope right let us put in our cargo uh, cargo airport thingy my bobby whatever it's called let us grab a two lane road one way so we'll have that turning come out here let's just get that nice and flat okay there we go so that road runs along here and then meanders through the trees and then joins back over here and it has before <laughs> we have just realized actually i've done two lanes out and one lane in but this is a two lane road one way so we don't need that do we okay well let's change that then there we go so let's do that again dedicated turning lanes and give way that's fine and then all the way over here to the other side i think that should be fine we just need to do dedicated turning lanes coming in there we go and i'm also going to turn off parking uh, on this road all the way along because i'm thinking it's going to get busy and we don't want to make that look even busier than it should be. Okay, so this is now all set up and ready to go. As soon as some trucks and lorries start coming in here, I will know whether these roads are facing the right way around or not. We will find out in a bit. Okay, let us get to our car factory then. So this is pretty big in footprint and needs space for one, two, three, four warehouses to hold the animal products, plastic, glass, and metals that it is going to need. Where are we going to fit that? I think we're going to come down this road here, which has been working quite well, and set up another little area. And then what we want to do with our factories is make sure that we're making enough of these, because, for instance, here, plastics, always running out of plastics. I'm wondering whether... See, there is plastics there. Freight trucks in use here are out of a one. Oh, there we go. He's finally been called... Delivering plastic products to the shipyard. What? Why not to the food factory that's right there? Can you just chip, but, stop and drop a few? That is really weird. I'm just making sure that he isn't really going there. And he's just lying. No, he's not, is he? He's driven straight past it. Why did you... It's not operating. See, we're not making any money when this happens. 
That is really weird. Okay, so just getting sidetracked for a minute. I was trying to work out why this was not getting any plastic from over here when there's plenty of truck trucks free well there isn't now i'll tell you why in a moment so i tested a few things i moved that warehouse to over here still no trucks came out it still said zero of 24 um, and then what i did is i said it's empty just to see if i could reset this thing and then all these trucks went out that's why it says 13 out of 24 and they took all of the plastics and got rid of them um now i've set it to fill i'm actually going to put it back to balanced as it was before because what i did was i clicked on here and i clicked the toggle traffic routes view and that is going to show us anything that's coming into uh, or out of if there is any of this factory and look at this brown line here which is a truck so a truck is now due and look where it's coming from our cargo train terminal and then if we click on that as well, we can see that there is a train coming in. But the train wasn't coming in because when I'd adjusted this, I think I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, I put this little junction down and adjusted it all a bit lower to be a bit more natural. I didn't have these lines here connected up correctly. So now this train is coming up here and dropping off the cargo. And I bet we get a little truck that pops out here with some plastic and takes it off to that factory. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. So if we put this view back on over here, we can see which one it is. And yes, a few minutes later, cargo trucks heading over here. And now we have some plastic. Yes. So let us continue this road down here. And this is going to be where we put our brand new factory. Um, hopefully all the roads and things that we have in here will be able to deal with this well. Oh, wow. That uh, dips down there quite a bit, doesn't it? Hmm, how big is our factory again? Let's just take another look. Car factory, so we could put it on there. Okay, I'm just thinking how to lay out the roads here. So this was a one-way road going up here to go around this little section. And then I continued it up around there. But I'd like somewhere to put my little uh, warehouses. We're going to need four of these to hold these items nearby. Even though we have seen the game will sometimes call from right across the city for those. So what I am thinking is, is if we change this road to go the other way around. And then make this road here um, a two-lane road going in both directions. Like this... There we go. We can have access in and out of both of those sections. And then here we can put our four little warehouses. That is the plan. Right, the food factory production rate is 9,600 units per week. You can see in the bottom right there of the pop-up. And for the car factories, 8,320 units per week. Uh, that says 8,320. Yeah, so I was thinking warehouses these size small warehouses should be okay to be used in here as well animal plastics glass and metals there we go and like i said before i'm going to leave them all on balance so hopefully we get a nice amount here um <laughs> for the car factory to use if the game decides to use those ones and then let's just take a look at our junction so using this option here control click dedicated turning lanes that's one way going in so that's fine and then when it comes out the other side um this road here is it going to end up leading anywhere it's probably going to end up coming down here let's just draw this one out a little bit further let's grab that tool and that tool there and we're going to have that come down to here in fact we're probably going to build that up let's just use the move it tool grab the node control h same height as that thank you very much and then we should grab this one here and smooth that out a little bit more there we go. We'll get the smoothing tool on there at some point. So now we have a T-junction at the end here. So, uh, shall I put give way on there? I'm going to do it now before I forget because we are going to have extra items over here at some point, I am sure. And then what I want to do is use the move it mod to grab that, 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 and that. And make those the same height as this. Yep, there we go. And then we are going to smooth this edge off. But let's just make it a bit bigger first around here. There we go. Oh! I think we've done it. Acclaimed. Does that mean we've gone up? Students want extra... <gasps> oh my goodness me. Have we finally got to the level that we wanted? There we go. That'll smooth all of that out. Uh, let's come down here. Here we go. 
Finally, we've got four stars. We've reached acclaimed. Oh, my goodness me. And we're not that far off from the next level after that. Oh, what is the next item we've unlocked? Well, it turns out we actually need the very last level, Prestigious, to unlock the School of Science, which is what I really want to add into here. Yes, so we'll have a look. at uh, Just while we're over here, you may notice this big empty gap here where we used to have a parking lot. We were using the new big parking lots. You remember the ones where you drew the outside, put a connecting road and drop the little parking spaces in? Um, yeah, the mods kept getting updated and breaking things. Twice it did that. Um, so I've had to remove it from the mods that I'm using. So for parking lots now, I am just recommended this one here, which has been working fine. It's just called parking lots and comes in all these different sizes. And that one's been working okay. Right. Well, hopefully we're going to get enough people here before the end of the academic year. We will have to come back and see. And then I'm going to turn back on tuition fees and uh, <laughs> hopefully earn some more money. Okay, so these warehouses are all filling up with the products that we need in this area. And then we just need one more uh, warehouse to give us this output product. Although we do have this one here for the unique factory products, which is on empty. So again, an overflow of it's needed. But generally speaking, these things, uh, these uh, special products, unique factory products, will just be exported for money. So I think that medium warehouse there will be happily taking care of all of their needs. And while we're at it, I've added in the clothing factory over here, a nice big parking lot and the toy factory as well. With a little warehouse here that we're going to see the stacked uh, planed timber when it is needed. And look at all these fantastic cars here that have been made, ready to be shipped out to the people of Teville. That is absolutely brilliant. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how the traffic in this area is, having one, two, three, four factories right by this cargo train station, which seems to be humming along nicely. I feel an auto save kicking in. No, we're fine. Um, but we've also got this here, which is now bringing the cargo in and out. And I want you just to see, let's keep an eye on this. So he's gone in there. He's gone in there. Any that are coming out, they're coming out the other side. So really, I could do with switching this road to go around the other way. So the cars don't get in the way of each other. There we go. That's now switched around the other way. Now, something else worth keeping in mind is this has a built-in rail line. So I'm now wondering whether... Mm, we should hook this up to this main cargo rail line and get rid of this little cargo train section over here. It's going to mean that any trucks that come out of here are going to come down there, up there, along here and down there. Unless we add a secondary road that comes across here and connects, which might be a good idea. Yeah, to stop these guys and girls causing any issues. What do you think? And it seems a bit silly to have that and all of this and that there. Yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit of a change around. Oh, just quickly jump into something else that I was reminded of in the area that we built in the last episode. This roundabout here, I was using these asymmetric roads, which come from Network Extensions 2, I believe, with three lanes out and two lanes in. And you said one of these roads was incorrect three lanes out two lanes in so if i just turn those ones around there we go that should be sorted absolutely fine yeah i think so and like i thought we are getting a bit of a traffic issue as that traffic comes down and joins this road here but i think we're going to leave that uh, for another episode to fix Right, jumping back over to the Hugo there Memorial University. Of course, I don't just need students to get the next level. I also need some more campus attractiveness. So I am going to add a few more items in here to boost that up. Okay, there we go. I didn't spend a huge amount of time, but we've now got our campus attractiveness up to well over the 1800 that we need. Oh my goodness me, are we going to get the extra level 
<laughs> we want after this so i've just basically used this old car park space here to add in some buildings i think that looks rather nice we've got our auditorium over here in amongst the trees uh, laboratories over here that need to just be lowered a little bit and i think another chess club or something on the bluff over here and i think that looks okay so we shall come back to that um, I also spent quite a bit of time uh, yesterday trying to get my train line here sorted out. My day yesterday was a complete nightmare. I'm not going to go into too much details, but I basically spent all morning trying to solve that problem with the parking lots that I told you about, that uh, the mod was updated and it basically broke the city. Everything was running at like one frames per second and it took us hours. I say us, people on my Discord help me as well. So yesterday I was up to here with uh, headaches and problems and things like that, which got me a bit behind, which gets me a bit oh, angry when that happens. So yesterday afternoon, I spent a load of time doing this. And yeah, this is the best I've come up with with the train line. All, all I told you all of that because that's my excuse for this horrendous train line. <laughs> I've removed the cargo station that was down here, the cargo train station. We've now got access. You can come in here and then you can come back out and go either direction if you want to. Or you can come in this way, of course. And then when you go up there, you have to go that direction. But then you've got choices. You've got the big cargo train about thing up there. I'm probably at some point going to rejigger this. But at the moment, that is how it is going to stay. Yeah, I just don't have the brain to redo it all. But this is getting used quite a lot. There's lots of trucks coming and going in here, which is great. And we don't have a traffic problem um, around here, which is good as well. I mean, I use no other industry mods or anything. Everything's looking okay. The only teeny tiny issue I've spotted, for some reason, this one road here keeps having this happen. And I don't know why. I don't know why this is any more busier than these. All I can think of is perhaps calls are going out to these ones for their crops, which I don't know. I don't, I really don't understand. Even though these you think would be nearer this side, I don't know. It's always a bit like that, but then it all get moving again. I may stick a little time traffic light in there, but I want to keep the main road going. I'm not overly fussed. I'm not overly fussed. But yeah, this area over here is not looking too shabby and how are these things doing they're getting all the items they need making ten thousand on that one eleven thousand on that one as we said they can fluctuate they can go up and down seven thousand on that one and seven thousand on that one so that is fantastic and as we see our money down here it will go up it will go down but that is definitely an increase of whatever those four figures together is i can't do I can't do mental maths at this time of day. I haven't had enough tea, but that is fantastic. Now, because the income does fluctuate such a lot on the industry DLC, that's just the nature of the beast. What I'm going to do is just sit here for a few minutes and watch this figure down here, total profit, and watch my weekly income down here just for a minute or two and see what it is, get a rough idea of how much of an increase we're getting. And then off camera, I'm going to go back and reload this city up before we make all these changes with the extra factories and do the same thing and maybe we can have a little comparison i'll probably mention that at the end of the video oh look at that we were literally a couple of people away from hitting the next level on there oh, i can't believe it maybe this next year we'll get that <laughs> so close so close and while I'm letting the money tick over, I'm doing a few other little jobs around the city. And I decided to move our industry statue over here to the industry area. And I think that fits in much better there. Needs a bit of detailing, but for now, that's good. Right, some time has passed. We're now up to 4.3 million. And as you can see, we're almost getting to 100,000 a week on our budget that is absolutely nuts is it going to get up to a hundred thousand let's have a look Ninety-nine thousand. come on 96 000. it's gone back down again it's fluctuating again but oh my goodness me that is absolute 98 000 it's gonna do it 97 000 is not gonna do it <laughs> we could be here all day waiting for that but that is going absolutely brilliant i am so pleased that putting in those factories is actually earning us much, much more money. I'm going to hang around. I'm going to see 100,000. Oh, 71,000. The game is killing me. 
There we go. I knew my waiting around. 105,000 a week. Oh, I just wanted to get over 100,000. That is just so satisfying. Absolutely brilliant. So we're back to making tons and tons of money again, which is what we want so we can continue to expand our city. Oh, auto save. Quick sip of tea. Oh, turns out I can't go back and check an earlier save now that I've removed those parking lots. Um, it just made the game crash. So we can see that the money's going up, so we can just be happy with that. I'm not entirely sure I've ever seen a, a truck taking cars from our car factory before. That is absolutely brilliant. He's now taken those off to be delivered to another place. What do you reckon to the build? Our factory area over here behind us is going to keep on expanding as we add more factories in to make more money. That is the plan. Oh, he's heading this way into the city. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the other video on the screen as well. And maybe leave a like and subscribe before you go if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Don't mention the terrible train track on the cargo train thing on your left there. And I will see you all very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.